Hey everybody. Uh, this is the uh, the charger for my uh, smart car. Uh, 2017 smart uh, for two. This, this is the passion uh, version. I'm charging it and I put the settings at 12 amps. 12 amps. It's charging from my solar. <clears throat> so over there is plugged, it's plugged in. This is the uh, the little shed that I was uh, building. It's finished. I put some solar panels on top too. Right now I have three of them. Sorry, I <clears throat> I made it black. It was I painted black. But I had to paint it white because the black it was making it too hot. So, uh, right. Let's check it. Check it. It's charging. And my battery is at uh, 97%. 194 uh, amp hours. Let's see, uh, let me see the load. <clears throat> uh, the battery is pulling 14 amps, I guess. 13, 14. Oh, uh, this is the uh, the load. It's pulling uh, uh, one 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 point three kilowatts. That's not even half of the. Uh, of the power of this uh, inverter so it's I gotta say this I am pretty happy with it I know they came up with a new one but I think that one will be too much for me uh, maybe maybe it'll uh, work for somebody else but I'm pretty happy with this one 120 uh, 20 volts the uh, the new one it's 120 volts too but it uh, I mean I I'd rather use this one unless you wanted to do like uh, to use it in the house or something like that for for charging the car. I think this is pretty much all you need. I got all the wires running. Put a fan in here too. Put another outlet right there. Put the light right here. So yeah, pretty happy with it. And uh, right now I'm charging my vehicle. working fine so everything's coming out good I'm just uh, doing a follow-up video and, let, and letting you guys know how everything's working so I I would recommend this ET4 <laughs> if you're uh, doing the same thing that I am I'm charging my uh, uh, 2017 uh, smart for two uh, so this is you know plenty of uh, power for for that uh, I can tr I can discharge this uh, system and it'll take probably a day a day and a half to uh, recharge the whole the, up to a hundred percent again and uh, my car I use I use my car and I uh, uh, it takes me more than three days to uh, to discharge the vehicle so you know by the time that the vehicle is dead uh, my batteries are back up again and fully charged so I'm, I'm pretty happy with uh, with the performance and uh, shout out to the uh, signature solar uh, company they're doing a good job and um, they're always there if you have a question uh, I never had any problems uh, problems with them, so I'm I'm pretty satisfied, and um, I'm thinking of in the future uh, probably get another two batteries, but uh, they're they're not that expensive for for the price for they what they do, so I do recommend those batteries unless you want the the newer models, the ones with the screen. 
but everything's fine just letting you guys know that you know this EG4 um, it is it is a good good inverter so if you guys are looking for something uh, that requires uh, no more than three uh, three kilowatts of power this is the uh, this is the one you should uh, get I'm satisfied I'm pretty happy with it and uh, I'm running let me see if I'm running 900 uh, uh, PV on, in solar so but I, I, you're never gonna get what what it says so let me see how much I'm getting Okay, so right now I'm getting 620 watts in. So uh, if I, I, I already ordered some, uh, some more uh, solar panels. Uh, if you want the batteries to charge faster, you need more solar panels. But like I said, I, I discharged this battery uh, and charged the vehicle. The vehicle takes a uh, three four days to uh you know to drain the battery by that time this thing's already fully charged so you know it's 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 working <clears throat> it's working for me so i'm i'm satisfied with this eg4 and um uh, if you if you guys like the new one i like the design of the new one it kind of looks like uh, uh something that goes on like on a a video game system or something like that but it's it's pretty nice but I'm 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 satisfied with this uh, easy for inverter so if you guys are looking for something like this you know you can't go wrong so please subscribe to my channel and um, and if there's anything I can answer you know leave me a comment if you know if you have any questions uh, how to how to hook it up uh, there's another video that I made uh, it shows exactly where the cables go I mean you can't go wrong uh, the beginning I, uh, I didn't know how to install the, uh, the breaker box uh, but I had a friend that he uh, he's an electrician so he uh, kind of you know guided me through the phone and it's working so I'm pretty happy with you know the build the little shed and, and everything uh, I still gotta paint the outside wall from this side because this is hard to get on, uh, to, on the other side and uh, th when the Sun goes on the other side of this wall this wall gets a little bit hot but the other the other walls are perfect now with the white paint so don't paint your uh, your sheds uh, with uh, black paint Put it white and uh, avoid uh, uh, overheating your equipment inside. Alright guys, well God bless you guys and uh, subscribe and like my channel and click that button. Take care.